G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the Energy Sword from Halo. This is part of the Commonwealth Spartan mod, and that mod adds a whole bunch of different Energy Swords for you to use, including a Halo 4 version, one in Reach, a Floaty Boy, I'm not sure what that thing is, probably just one of the custom weapons from the Patreon donators, Infected Energy Sword, which, um, best guess is used by the Flood. This one actually has its blade out for some reason, but that's fine. A Prophet's Bane, which actually gives you a, um, Stealth Boy, or basically active camo when you crouch when you're using it, which is great and we've got the Revening Silver which doesn't do anything yet but it's another unique one as well as the Vorpal Talon there. As you can tell they all have um, 539 damage. This one swings very fast which is actually kind of interesting so maybe that'll have the best DPS of them all but yeah they look pretty cool. Um, with the customization it's rather limited but you can actually change the colors of the blades if you want so you know what we'll go for a Black Halo 4 blade and just a standard Reach Blade there. I really like the Energy Sword and Reach, it's badass. Now, you can chuck on legendary effects on these, but at 539 damage for a melee weapon that's going to be swinging around about the same speed as a machete, then I think we can leave these alone because these will be great. I'm actually kind of interested in how, uh, interested in how Ravening Silver goes, saying as, seeing as it's got the very fast thing there. We'll have uh, combat knife animations, who knows? Anyways, we'll go ahead and get into Gunners Plaza immersive version. From the outside, we're going to go Immersive Gunners Plaza with some melee weapons. Should be fun. But before we do that, I just want to show off the lighting of this weapon. So if we whip it out, as you can tell, it's got the custom um, draw animations, which are good. And if we go up to a wall here, you can tell there's a little bit of glow going on, which is great. It also works in third person there, so it makes the sword really actually glowy. Now, unfortunately, um, its impacts seem to be the same as what I think is a machete. So if I hit it and hit something... That actually sounds like a baseball bat, which is a shame, but I want to change that in a second. And we're just going to go on the creation kit and change it to something like a laser gun um, impact point or the institute one for this blue blade here. BRB. Okay, two or three minutes later, we're done with the creation kit. And I also made this whilst listening to Nirvana, so you know it's extra edgy. Anyways, if we whip out our sword again with its custom sounds, not animations, that's just some more daddy animations that I've left over. When we hit this wall, as you can see, we've got a little bit of a blue laser impact, same as you'd get from the Institute laser pistol there. And if you listen really closely, you can hear the sort of the same sort of impact sound. So if I could just shut my mouth for a second. It's barely he hearable, but as you can tell, um, yeah, making use of vanilla assets is a quite a good thing here, and I feel like that suits it pretty well. Obviously, for the red blade of this, the Prophet's Blade, it's a little bit red. I've made it just the standard laser gun impacts there, so that's pretty good. And the infected one, which is green, I opted to either this or the uh, Mylurk Spit, and since the Mylurk Spit doesn't really glow, although the infection acidy thing seems kind of right for this, we went for just a plasma rifle. Um, impact there and I really feel like that makes these weapons feel like more energy swords rather than just plastic toys for the whole lot of damage stuck onto them. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's actually go into Immersive Gunners Plaza as I open the stupid wo workshop thing in third person anims. Never mind. Okay, so here we are outside of Immersive Gunners Plaza. Here is our Black Halo 4 energy sword there. I'm going to hit this truck. As you can tell, it's still got the same sort of energy um, impacts there that I added, which is good, but it's got no glow on it, so maybe we'll be a little bit more stealthy with it. Okay, so I think what we want to do here is switch to Prophet's Bane there, just to give us an active camera as we go ahead and kill these blood bugs, because they usually interfere with the fight, and I'm having none of that today, I'll tell you that much. Okay, still in hidden, very good. Just this glowing one to kill, we'll sneak up on him and kill him just like that. Now if we were to come out of our sneak mode here, as you can tell, it's a little bit bright, so I'd imagine if we um, do approach any gunners like this, we'll be seen pretty much instantly, so uh, we'll just keep it on the lay low. Now, why I'm going this way is because we'll be facing a lot less gunners this way, and I feel like it'll be a lot easier to manage. So we've got to pick off the ones that are on the outside there, and if we can get lucky, hopefully we can pop a sneak attack crit and get these guys both hit with um, Big Leagues 4. Unfortunately, not the case, but we'll go ahead and get a nice stealth finisher on her. Okay, she, where she's dead, we'll back off a little bit more and make sure we don't get hidden. I mean, get, get hidden, get detected by these guys. We should be able to teleport around here. There we go, that guy is very dead. And those guys will keep on following me now. I feel like this active camo is helping us out a little bit, but we'll hide in these bushes, these glowing bushes that aren't um, um, easy to see at all. 
And as soon as one pops out, we'll go ahead and stab her. Oh, we didn't get the, um, okay, now we're in danger now. Now, unfortunately, since we're using, um, animations that are akin to the, uh, machete, we're a little bit slow. In fact, we're slower than punching, so unless we time this right, we can't actually hit these guys all that much. But if we go into third person, we're able to extend our attack numbers a little bit higher, which is good, including a push and a knock them on their ass, and then we can hit these guys a little bit easier as they're getting up there. But as you can tell, even though, oh, a nice throat slice by that, we'll switch to our Halo Reach one now for a nice blue glow. But as you can tell, even though we do get the um, 549 or 500 plus energy damage on this thing, we aren't actually getting all that much which is kind of odd. We'll go ahead and teleport up here because why not use bats there? And now we can go ahead and kill that Creation Club gunner with her gorse rifle. And we get a nice little finisher on her. Didn't get staggered by a gun, but which was good. Okay, so these guys are in here. We'll just unlock this as usual. In fact, we'll glitch through the wall because we totally can do that if we want to. Big Leagues 4. Not the most um, intricately coded thing in the game, is it? In fact, they're shooting at me now. They're trying to replicate it, but no, it's not working. I've also gone into caution. That is probably why they've got themselves uh, yes. in a panic fire mode. In fact, I went to turn my Pip-Boy light off because I was I thought that was the cause of this light, but no, it's the energy sword. I'm just being an idiot. But here we go. As you can tell, if we actually attack slower than the way they can punch, which would be even slower if I was using a mouse and keyboard, by the way. All nice disarm there. Thank you, big leagues. But yeah, if we can't attack our pace there, punching attacks, we're going to get staggered every time, which makes this thing quite annoying to use, but that's just a problem with the melee weapons in this game. Anyway, get a nice execution on that person. Sometimes they don't really line up properly because obviously um, with a machete, basically it goes directly up on a 90 degree from where you're holding it, but this one goes like directly out in front of you, which makes you look really cool when you stand with it like that. But the animations sometimes don't line up, but that's not a huge deal. Um, you can always make custom melee animations, but for the most part, the vanilla ones work just fine there. I really like that it's not intrusive in first person. Also, let's bring out our infected one, because yeah, let's get some green glowiness happening here, because why not? For Qui-Gon, right? He had a green lightsaber. Anyways, we'll go ahead and teleport, take out that chap. I said chap because he's probably British. Not sure how an American uh, mercenary would be British, but I said chap anyway. Okay, let's go ahead and attack these guys here. Nice, we're getting more sneak attack crits now. And we're probably in danger at this point, so why not execute a crit? No, we killed them both, which is great. And we'll go ahead and use this to, just to dance around them as we're shooting them. We'll probably go into nerd rage in a second. In fact, I saw the scream blur. And we get a little bit of a late proc of that, but we'll go ahead and use our bats protection to the most to the most of our ability here. So we'll teleport to this guy, into kill him with a crit. In fact, we killed two there with big leagues four. Very nice. And another finisher on her. That leaves, I believe, one left. A couple left, still some down below, but even more finishes there. Ones that don't really line up all that well. Anyways, looks like the ones we've got left are all down below, so I guess uh, that's where I'm supposed to go next then. Now that we've taken out all the ones up the top here, it'll be easier to take out the ones that are down below, because we won't have people firing at us constantly from up top. So we'll just go ahead and sneak up on these guys, we'll whip out this energy sword here. Now for some reason this one says it attacks very fast, but it uses the exact same animations. Maybe that's an error, maybe we're supposed to use combat knife animations. Would be awesome if it did because I'd have something that works a little bit faster than your standard um, thing there. Also, stop popping stim packs. That's cheating. Okay, Nerd Rage again. And that is indeed the case. Okay, we'll go ahead and use this just to teleport as far as we can and get the most damage out of Blitz. Man, I hate using um, vats with a controller. It seems so inaccurate compared to regular PC. Okay, let's go for a crit spam here. As you can tell, when you wind up back with Blitz, you get so much extra damage that you can insta-kill these guys every time. Now, every kill we do get on these guys, despite pausing every couple of seconds, we do actually get uh, more of our um, health points back, thanks to how Nerd Rage works at rank 3, which is great. And we got most of our... We got enough health back to actually get us above the Nerd Rage health gate there, so we can actually go again if they damage us that a um, little bit more, which is great, which means, yeah, you can 
Nerd Rage, it's actually really good, and we get a level up anyway, so we don't have to worry about our health bar anymore. So we'll just use this moment to get as many um, bat shots going as possible, simply because I feel like that is the best way to actually run this weapon, as easily the fastest way to kill these guys, but it's nice to have a little bit of a time when you knock them on your, their asses like that too. Okay, what have I not used yet? Haven't used the Talon yet. This one's a nice looking energy sword there. It goes from yellow to blue, which is nice. I still gave it the standard um, animate, uh, the standard um, blue laser gun uh, impact, but it seems to work pretty well with this thing. It doesn't show up on people. I think that's because I made that stop because, yeah, excessive violence YouTube doesn't like that. And so far, after disabling gore and all that, YouTube is actually being kind of kind to me with its um, monetization. So maybe they like that. Who knows? Maybe the um, the copyright of the bots would say, yeah, okay, that works for me. I, I highly doubt that there's some employee at YouTube who has to sit through my videos to make sure they're okay. I've never actually requested any videos of mine that were previously demonetized to be unmonetized by, um, by that uh, whole claim thing, but I feel like, yeah, we're good. Usually the ones that do get initially demonetized, I just let them go for a few days and it goes back to monetize, which kind of sucks because it um, misses the initial viewing um, people to uh, go there and get money, but yeah, that's fine. I've got a job anyway, so I'm not exactly dependent on the YouTube ad revenue. Anyways, so we'll go ahead and climb up Gunners Plaza again as the frame rate chugs long for some reason. And we'll get inside and we'll do some more sneak attack crit spammery. Now, just like some of the other weapons from this mod, the um, customization options are a little bit limited. So I'd like to make some suggestions if anything comes to mind. But yeah, first of all, ooh. whoa, okay. Looks like we're starting up here then. I think that was one of those VATS glitches all the speedrunners used to get somewhere real quick. But yeah, you, you all saw that. I'm leaving that in and we'll get started on some of these gunners here. Looks like we can hit the two turrets and also those guys there. Looks like VATS hasn't screwed us over there. Speaking of being screwed over, what about Bethesda today? Um, they've... They've released a video on their channel called Fallout 76 Gameplay Thing and they had no gameplay in it that we haven't seen already. So everyone got cucked by Bethesda this morning, which is annoying, but yeah. They're sort of teasing at it. Hopefully they will bring us something new to look at and have everyone examine and post their own 10 minute videos on it. But for now, we've just got the standard E3 stuff, which is not ideal, but whatever. Okay, so an easy snake attack crit kill there. This one is actually floaty boy, so it looks a pretty it's a pretty cool looking sword. It's definitely got more um, edges on it, which is good. Um, not an expert on Halo weaponry, but I'm sure someone in the comments could explain this. This one appears to have a lot better um, vats to um, hit ratio, which is good. Also, we can't one shot Captain Bridget there. She may have seen me in the corner of her eye in the last second as I was teleporting at her. But anyways, we'll go ahead and hit these guys in bats a little bit more and get a nice finisher on that person. And we'll go ahead and stab this one with our energy sword a few times there. And we'll go for a crit on you and finish you off. No, we won't. Mysterious Stranger will. He shot the 44 Magnum when my head was right next to it. So that's a severe case of extreme 44 Magnum deafness there. Anyways, let's go ahead and crit spam Captain Bridget because Captain Bridget and Matilda are arch nemeses. That's the um, word of the day there. That's like the plural of nemesis, I think. I'm not a dictionary, but I'm pretty sure that's right. I also have that gun off you because that's some overpowered nonsense there that I'm not willing to deal with. I played myself in there because I created that monster. Now I have to deal with it. Anyways, we'll go ahead and get stuck into these explosive turrets as well as that commander. We might as well use the crit on her and then we'll easily get that kill there. There's another example of a finisher not quite lining up, but yeah. Now, in terms of actual attachments for this thing, again, you could probably get away with the standard sort of um, uh, the capacitors because obviously you've got to have a capacitor somewhere in that tiny little thing to for it to um, sort of go and make this whole plasma blade. Speaking of blades, I should probably switch out, shouldn't I? What haven't I done yet? Um, Ravening Silver, we've seen this before, haven't we? But whatever. This one's actually got a cool name. It's also the one that says very fast on its thing, and I would have thought that it would be quicker, but it's not. That's a shame. 
Okay, that gun is dead. We'll move on. We'll bring out the black sword again because I don't think I've actually used that yet. So hopefully with this one, it'll make us a little bit more stealthy, right? Probably not, but we can hope. Not that we'll need at this point. We've got plenty of health left to kill these last couple of gunners. But in terms of uh, like additional upgrades you could probably put on this weapon, maybe you could put like a magnetize effect on it because I think that um, it's something to do with magnets to actually hold the plasma in place and maybe you could do extra damage to robots if it was magnetized maybe you could have the infected one do the same sort of acid -y effect or the poisoner's effect um acid -y effect obviously from the myler queen which would be decent or just the poisoner's effect where it covers them in that toxic net type substance i guess just to let you know that you have been poisoned or your enemies have been poisoned i feel like that'll be a good enough idea for it but something a little bit on the lines of those but yeah in terms of my creativeness when it comes to these things it's not really the same um usually the uh melee sort of attachments in this game are limited anyway so you can't really um use the ooh, 6,000 damage on that person. Yeah, they're dead. But yes, with the uh, things, uh, the melee weapons in the game's customization being limited anyways, um, I don't think there's a lot you can do or a lot I can suggest at this point. Maybe if I think of something whilst this thing's rendering, I'll quickly jot it down and put it in the description. But for now, I feel like these are actually in a really good place. But again, having that damage almost at like, or just a bit over 500 as a base point, I think it's a little bit too high. So definitely have that as like the last capacitor of this weapon or something and then have like sequentially um lower damages for the lower capacitors i think maybe you could add a crit um in a crit thing as well as a damage over time capacitor like the laser rifle too but yeah i feel like that'll work anyways we'll move over to some monsters i guess let's cheese swan again okay looks like swan has decided to hang out at a different place Hopefully this sword won't get us detected, but what we want to do here is just get on the edge of our blitz range Maybe it's about here. We'll see if we can go further back Yeah, that's about the edge of it and we'll go ahead and hit him with as many stick attack crits as possible We'll throw in some actual crits in the mix there almost 10,000 damage on him there So yeah, you can actually do pretty well Howard blah 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 you've, you've heard me say this before but yeah, we can actually take him out almost in one full vats thing, which is good. He gets himself impaled on a tree, but then he doesn't because I guess the physics really didn't work there. But it all, but I guess he did in spirit. You can sort of fill in the blanks there. Also, my flashlight doesn't work when I've got this thing on. Where is it? There it is. Third time's a charm. So there you have it. That was the uh, plasma... Oh, sorry, I keep saying plasma. Energy sword in... Uh, the Fallout 4 provided by Commonwealth Spartan there, and it is a really cool weapon mod. There's so much more to this as the gravity hammer, I saw that while scrolling through what weapons to use, so if you feel like uh, watching me use that or would like to see that, then yeah, let me know, but yeah, um, links will be in the description for this bad boy, and I do recommend you download it, especially if you're a huge Halo fan. Wouldn't call myself the biggest Halo fan, but I still enjoy this weapon mod regardless. Thanks for watching, guys.